Hey everybody, in today's how-to video I am going to show you how to ring test a grinding wheel from a bench grinder. Bench grinding wheels can be very dangerous things. Uh, they can have microscopic cracks in them which will cause them to explode at uh, very high RPMs. So you can take a bench grinding wheel off of a used bench grinder or even a brand new one out of the box and even though it looks like it's a good grinding stone it may not be. It may have a microscopic crack and the first time you use it it could just explode and send shrapnel flying across your garage and into your face. So this is a very quick and simple test that will tell you if the grinding stone is any good or not and if it has any microscopic cracks in it or not. A ring test gets its name because when you test it you'll hear a very high-pitched ring and if you hear a high-pitched ring when you do this it means that the stone is good. If you don't hear a high-pitched ring, then the stone has cracks in it and is a very dangerous stone. You don't, do not want to use this. So this is something that you should do even if you have a used grinder or you get brand new grinding wheels right at Sears on the shelf. You want to do this test for your own safety. In order to do this test, really all you need are two screwdrivers and a grinding stone. This is a good grinding stone. This grinding stone will have a high-pitched ring, and, and what you'll do is you'll, the, the hole in the center of the grinding stone, you'll take a screwdriver and you will just suspend the grinding stone in the air. And then with the other screwdriver, you'll take the plastic handle, and what you're going to do is you're going to tap it at the very bottom, the very top, left, right, and then you'll turn it about an eighth of a turn and do that again. That'll allow you to hit it on eight uh, equal parts. Just imagine this is a, a piece of... Uh, or actually a pizza and you cut it into eight slices. You want to hit every slice. So you'll take the end of your screwdriver and you'll just tap it. And you'll hear a real high pitch ring. And then above, the side, over here. And then just turn it slightly and do that again. That's a ring test, and, and because you heard that high-pitched ring, this is a good grinding stone. There's no cracks in it. Now, let me show you a grinding stone that is not safe. And the reason I know this grinding stone is not safe is I actually cracked it in half and then had to glue it back together. So, this is not a uniform stone. It looks like a uniform stone, however, it is really two pieces. And the, because it is not a uniform stone, it won't have that same high-pitched ring that the good grinding stone had. So if you take the grinding stone off of your grinder, or you take it out of the box at the store, because, you know, tractor trailers run over potholes going down the interstate, stock boys drop boxes on the way out to the shelf, plenty of things could happen to that grinding stone in between the factory and you. So this is something you can do before you even purchase it. Just take it out of the package, take two screwdrivers off the shelf, and save yourself a lot of time and trouble by doing this in the store. But you'll do it, do it the exact same way. In this one, you will not hear a high-pitched ring. And if you notice the difference between the two, that is not a high-pitched ring. That's a, a dull thud. And then you have your good grinding stone. So there you go. That is how you ring test the grinding stone to verify its integrity. If you hear the high pitched ring, you're safe. If you do not hear the high pitched ring, either don't buy it or if it is on your grinder or you have it in your uh, workshop to use in the future, throw it in the trash because they will explode. A smaller grinder will run at about 3,400 RPMs. A large grinder like let's say a 10 inch bench, bench grinder will run at about 1,700 RPMs. But that is still extremely fast, and when you touch a piece of metal to that stone, it will cause it to explode, and the little pieces of it will just go flying into you and across the room. So that's your tip of the day. If you like this video, please click like. If you like my channel, please click subscribe. Thanks for watching.